Stephanie Smith, Regional Agronomy Manager for 360 Yield Center. Uh, it's May 16th at about 3.30 a.m. and there's no better time to talk to you about frost. So <clears throat> when we think about frost, when we crack open a textbook, it tells us, you know, anything less than 28 degrees sustained for over an hour can be a killing frost. So when we think about corn and soybeans, you know, where in the point in the time will that incur crop damage? So, you know, corn has just been planted. Um, some of the corn around the area is up to V2, and our growing point is still below ground. So there's no doubt that our corn plant is having a bad day. So, you know, when it comes to thinking about what that frost looks like, you know, within a, a couple hours, you'll be able to go out there, you'll see translucent leaves, um, you'll see wilting of the plant, and what's happened is that the cell wall has crystallized and froze and essentially burst. Um, so with that, you know, have you killed off your p corn plant entirely? Absolutely not. Okay, that corn plant had a bad day. That doesn't mean that, you know, our growing point's still below ground. We'll still be able to get a good, you know, stand out of that, out of that planting. Um, so, so what can we do as growers? You know, if you don't see the translucent leaves, you know, over the next couple days, you'll see uh, the desiccated leaves on top of the ground, but that plant will continue to grow back. What also you could see is you could see some purpling of corn leaves. So this is very hybrid dependent, um, and essentially it's a, it's a trait expression. So you'll see some hybrids have more purpling than others. The purpling does not cause a yield uh, hit. You know, what does is that that plant has had a bad day. Whether it turns purple or not, it's been cold. So don't, don't be too concerned about purpling. But what we can do is we can stay out of the fields. We don't need our corn plants metabolizing herbicide at this point in time. Uh, they've already been stressed. We need this plant to get back growing as, as it should. Um, and, and really what we can do as growers as, is we can just wait for it to warm up. So um, here in the field, uh, ambient air temperature right now says 36 degrees here in this strawberry field. Uh, dew point is 29 with relative humidity of 70%. Uh, we're making ice on the leaves and, and what we do here in strawberries is, is that we that we irrigate with water so water is above 32 degrees and this sustains our crop temperatures um, over 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 the cool periods in time it, eventually we'll, we will get ice to form around the blossoms and that's really what we're concerned about we're, we're keeping those blossoms viable you know killing frost is 28 degrees on foliage um, these blossoms are a little bit more sensitive than 28 degrees so we keep above 32 degrees water um, coating those blossoms all night <laughs>